my FX Impact 25 caliber MK2. This Impact has a slug power kit installed. It has a 700cc bottle. It has the high flow transfer port and the 720 power plenum in it. This makes a pretty powerful combination. Right now I'm sending 33 and a half grain slugs at 1050 feet per second. With all these mods installed, I still get about 60 shots per fill at that power level, which is pretty impressive. And with 60 shots per fill, I'm able to utilize my 51 shot Sidewinder magazine, which provides the ability to keep shooting even when other people are changing out magazines. I'm able to continue the shots. And a lot of times, it's right when you need to change your magazine when a good shot comes up. So we'll set up. I'll have to be patient, wait for them to come out, and get some shots. Hopefully we can get some good shots on camera for you. That's two at 184 yards. Well, that's a couple of headshots. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. <laughs> 184 yards. Takes a few rounds when you're shooting that far, at least for me. I know there's better shooters out there. Not bad for an air gun. It's the 6th of May today. The weather's nice. Finally sunny. We've had a lot of rain this spring. I haven't had the chance to get out here, but one or two other times for a few shots here and there. Nothing much. Today when I pulled in, there was probably 20 rock chucks out in this field. In this area, the rock chucks are pests. This is kind of an industrial spot. There's a business here. I have permission to shoot from this property here, from the business owner. Now these rock chucks get into everything that's, that's around here. We've got trailers and equipment and lots of industrial equipment towards the shop and in the shop. And they like to chew up the wiring especially, but they'll chew up anything that they can chew through or chew into to try to find a nest or a burrow or someplace to get into. But they're very hard on the equipment here. And there's a lot of rock chucks. Last year, I think I shot 200 and there's plenty more here this year. I'm not going to eradicate them from this area, but I'll thin them down and at least maybe they'll have a little more respect for the area up here. They do recognize the danger of being close to this area now. 
when I pull in, they scatter. Last year, you could pull in at first and they'd just kind of look at you. If you would scatter, this year, they're out of here. There's one down close. target. It's about 60 yards. That was a loud pop, headshot. That guy is no more. Was 137 yards. Pretty happy with that shot. Dropped him. Great headshot at 90 yards. Very happy with that. Very humane kill. Uh, I guess I'll talk. I'll talk to you. And then we'll shoot another one. So one of the biggest mistakes I make when I shoot long range is not keeping the gun level. I get excited. Close shots doesn't matter as much, long shots it really matters, so I'll start hitting to one side or the other, usually to the right side. I'm thinking, what the heck, this thing's zeroed, and there's no wind. Well, I'm not keeping the gun level, so it's one thing I just learned again. Check my bubble, keep the gun level, everything else works out. Another good shot. Don't know if it was a headshot, but it was a good clean kill. Straight down. 83 yards. Eight yards. That was ninety six yards. Great shot, straight down, pocket. Headshot, 102, I don't know, 101 yards, very happy with that shot, 101 yards. Well, I've had a successful hunt today. I 
think I got about 18. So that's quite a few. Nice day, good shooting, no, no wind to speak of. Yeah, I think we got about 18 today, so very good. That really helps in thinning the, the herd out here. We don't want to knock them all off, we just want to thin them down. There's still plenty running around out here. I could shoot more, but I think I'll uh, stop for the day so that we have some for another day. If you like what you saw today and you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. That'll help us in our efforts to bring you more content. Thanks for watching.